Welcome back to Bad Bad Bowling with your boy C. Today we're going to be doing a ball on the Roto Grip US, Hustle USA. So, the Hustle USA is a hybrid by Roto Grip, which is, which is a good thing. I mean, you know, everybody knows I'm pretty fond of, of hybrids. Uh, it's a symmetrical ball with the VTC hybrid uh, reactive cover stock. The RG is 2.53 and the differential is 0 0.030. Now, this ball doesn't have a, it, it doesn't have the, uh, all the other perks and, and whistles of a symmetrical ball, which we all know. This ball comes at 3000 grit. So what I did is I actually had it changed before I ever threw it, because I haven't yet, to a 4000 grit grit and I had them put a little polish on it the reason why I did that is because I already understand what the ball is going to do because of how I had it laid out it's at 35 it's at 85 degrees by 5 by 40 degrees as you can see I got everything lined up in here uh, the way I want it I'm showing you guys how it's actually laid out um, the pen so if you guys have any questions, you can put it in the comments down below, okay? I'll also put the layout here, and then I'll also put the ball specifications there as well. So now, what I would like to do, though, is take a minute before we hit the lanes, okay? And I'm going to tell you what I expect the ball to do. I expect this hybrid, with the layout it goes, I expect it to go a little longer and have a, and, and, and have a pretty decent back end. Now, the lanes that we're going to be used have not been oiled today. And most of my videos, you know, I come in and the lanes aren't oiled. I always ask the people at the office just for confirmation so that therefore I can give you the correct information. Now, the best part about today's show is I'm going to be responding to a fan. Michael Miller, you stated several times that my feet don't change when I'm doing a demo for the ball. That you would like to be able to see how the ball rolls when my feet are anywhere from 10 to 35. Okay, so... I owe everybody an apology because Michael's right about this. I don't tend to start way right because the lanes are already dry. So in my mind, I already make the fast adjustment. So when you're bowling, it's a game of, game of inches and a game of adjustments. We all know this. So to be a above average bowler, making adjustments is the name of your game. So when I come into Park Lanes, where I'm at, Park Lanes, Illinois, and I know that they haven't oiled the lanes. I know in my mind, I automatically have to put my feet on 25 to start. I automatically know because the layout of the ball gets to go long, but again, it's a hybrid, so it's not going to go very long on friction without turning over because it's meant to hit friction and then make the turn. Am I right? Okay, so sit your right on that. Now, what I can say is, he is 100% correct. Maybe I should put it in there. Maybe you guys should be able to see how the ball will respond on a dry lane. Or if your house only oils from 5 to 5 and your break point is 4, maybe you need to see what happens if it goes straight up the line of friction. So, Michael, thank you very much for that. And I might refer to you a couple more times. I hope you're not upset. But these are great questions. And these are questions that I want the rest of you to be able to ask me. Because when you're able to do that, then that helps me and that helps the channel. And it also will help all of you guys as the consumer looking at maybe buying these balls, okay? So with that being said, from now on, I will show you, I will line up all the way from right to left to give you guys a better opportunity to see it. And then I'm also going to throw in some demo balls. Like, for example, he made that comment, Michael did, on the reality check. So I brought that ball, Michael, just to let you see what it looked like if I threw it on a burnt up shot and my feet were on 10 and then I'm also going to throw a pitch black just one ball each to show you the same line with my feet on 10 and let you see the reaction when the pitch black hooks far less than everything else because it's urethane okay all right so let's go ahead hit the lanes throw a couple shots come on back talk about it and get us out of here for today but Michael thanks a lot everybody make sure in the comments you thank Michael for pointing this out to us okay all right let's hit the no lane. practice here people first shot with the 
<laughs> Hustle USA. I have no practice shots, no, uh, <laughs> no stretching. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with feet on 10. Five is the mark. Okay. So that was ball on five. Okay, now Michael, this is for you. Feet on 10, the reality check. Just want to show you why I don't start there. That's why I always prejudge where I'm gonna stand. That's why I'll start with my feet on 25 as opposed to 10. I know that some people would like to see it, but here's the problem. If the ball's going to do that, what do you learn from the ball? Nothing. You don't learn how versatile the ball is. The only thing you get out of it is that I can pick up the seven pin. But wait, there's more. I'm going to throw a urethane pitch black. This ball hooks the least in my bag. This is what I use on dry, the driest of lanes, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to throw that feet on 10 still. Throw the same shot. You see how that ball rolls out? It rolls out the same because again, there's no oil which creates friction, which means as soon as the ball hits friction, it hooks out. That's why I prejudge where I'm going to stand. However, we're gonna break it all the way down with the Hustle USA and move until we can get into the pocket. All right, so we started on 10. I'm gonna move three boards to 13. Keep that same break point. Again, you see the difference here. Let's go to 16. Same break point. Okay, now we're going to go to 19. Now, I am putting more speed on the ball, trying to get it to not be Brooklyn, but I'm just going to relax into the shot and let it happen. Okay, so now we're going to go feet on 21. Now, Michael, I, I hope you're learning a lot about this ball. Um, it is getting down a ways before it's turning over, so that's a positive. Okay, now we're going to go to 24. Still break point about five. Now remember, this is the Hustle USA, okay? Now we were on 24, now we're gonna go to 27. Yep, 27. Break point, still the same spot. Okay, so 27 wasn't sufficient. Okay, so we were just on 27. Now we're gonna go to 30. Let's see how this turns out. Michael, I hope you're watching. So 30 wasn't sufficient. Okay, now let's go to 33. And this is, this is a good test because let's see if it stores its energy. Woo Excuse me for the loud noise, but it does store its energy from 33. Okay. So let's put our feet back to 33 and let's see if we can do the same shot again and then let's talk about it. Okay, so we had a couple, op we had opportunity, I should say, to throw a couple of shots, which is, a, which is interesting to say the least. So our friend Michael pointed out that instead of me starting at 10, I would only go to my perceived location in which I thought I would do great at, which he had a value point. Because in my mind, I prejudged the shot. I knew that there would be no oil, so therefore I knew that I needed to start further left. So I would start 25, 26, 27 to be able to show you quality shots, but not the versatility of the ball. So we started at 10 and we did some great jobs picking up 4-7, seven, 4-7, seven, 
all the way until we got to, I do believe, about 36. And at 36, we were actually able to catch, the ball would actually slide a little further. It would catch the friction, turnover, and it did store enough energy to actually carry from there. So that's telling you that the ball does store a lot of energy. So it'll get down the lane with energy, even from that depth, with a lot of pop. So that's a good thing. The bad thing is, can you throw this ball when the lanes start to dry up with your feet to the right? And the answer would probably, I would say, be no. Um, as you can see, even even with the speed I started throwing it, I originally threw the first ball at 15.5. And when I moved my feet to 13, I picked it up to 17. And it still went 4.7. So the only alternative I'd imagine is flatten the wrist. And I did try that when my feet were on 16, flattening it somewhat. But when I come through the ball even flat, I still pull my fingers. So it still turns the corner. So now that we had the opportunity to see how the ball would turn over, remember my layout is 85 degrees by five by 40 degrees. So the ball is meant to get down the lanes quite a way before it turns over. Remember it is a hybrid. And remember, I do have it at 4,000 grit from the original 3,000 and I polished it also to get it to go longer, okay? So let's get back on the lanes. Let's throw several more shots and uh, see what we can do, okay? Okay, so we're back. And I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna start off from the 33, like we left, and see what we do. And then I'm gonna move more left. And then I'm gonna start moving back right to end the, end the show. Okay, so from 33 it looks good. Let's try 36 and see what that looks like. Now I'm gonna move my 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 uh, break point. I'm gonna try to move that three boards in also. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if he's got enough depth to do that. Let's throw another one before we make a judgment. Let's see if it. Go back to 36, right? And let's see if it has enough energy stored up. I'll put a little extra something on it. Slow the speed down a little bit. Yes, it does. Okay, so we were just on 36. Let's go out to 39. Now, I'm going to bring this really far inside with my eyes. See if I can't carry it. See if it has enough energy. Uh, I don't know. Let's throw one more just to check. All right, so we're going to put our feet back out here on 38. Slow it down just a little bit. Ah, stuck a little bit. No, it doesn't have enough from 38. So, not enough from 38. All right, so now we're going to go back to 36. Okay. Almost left the 710 messenger, almost didn't hit it to one. So playing this deep, the question was, does the ball store enough energy? So what I'm going to do is, I was just at 36, I'm going to go to 33. Like I said, I'm going to walk my way all the way back right. Wanted to get it up. Ah, barely held the line, but we're going to take it. Okay, so we're on 33, now we're going to go to 31. We're making our way back. Actually, let's just go to 30. Let's make our way all the way back to 10 for Mr. Michael. Now I'm throwing it harder. And you see that doesn't work. So we're going to throw it from 30 one more time. And I'm going to finesse it. So, again, I'm going to put feet on 30. I'm going to try to finesse this one a little bit. Since I tried to power the last one, let's see if it makes a difference. Nope. No difference. So let's go 27. 
and I think we'll stop at 24. And then we'll go ahead and uh, talk about it, conclude the video. Oh, does he have a chance? Brooklyn style, baby! Okay, so last shot from 24. We'll see, you know, what you guys think of the versatility. Not a bad way to end it. Okay, so we had an opportunity to throw even more shots. <laughs> I decided I was going to go upwards to see how far I could and then go all the way back to 24. I hope you guys could see how the ball got down the lane from over in 30, 39 zone, 39 range with my feet, break point. In at about 11 to 12, it didn't have the power to be able to get back. But as I move right, you could see it would slide, grab, and had enough energy to not only get back, but to push through the lane, to push through the pins. Um, as I got back into the, the early 30s, 33, 31, um, I could ramp it up to 17, 4, and it would turn a corner. And it would it was it was coming heavy, but it was able to be done. Um, is that a shot that I would anticipate trying to do? No. But as you can see, if you have stronger ball speed than I do, or a little less fingers than I do, you might be able to get that shot to work. But again, that shot is a very very complicatedly hard shot to throw. If you've watched my videos, this goes for Michael or anybody else. You always know I say straighter is greater. Um, if you looked at my league videos, I shot 7.15 on Wednesday, 7.05 on Saturday. And the one thing that is consistent in all those videos is this. I believe straighter is greater. I don't need to throw a massive sweeping hook to get done what I need to get done. I can strike it at 73 to 74% pace or better with straighter is greater. What I mean by straighter greater is I throw the ball about the seven break point about five with my feet on I start at 18 that's right 18 for game 118 by the time I'm done my feet are only at 22 so I've only had to move four boards over eight game over four boards over three games and the reason I do that is because it depends on the ball I'm using number one but I've been using the purple hammer urethane as you can see in the videos so with that being said that's four board difference if I'm using the RSTX, which I have in league already, I'll start on fresh oil, trying to, as five as a break point, that way I'm outside of the mess of every, the mesh of everyone else. My feet will start on 20, 24 with that break point. And by the time I'm done, if I don't ball down, I would probably be in 35 or 36, trying to hold that, hold a similar inside line to the USA. But with the RSTX, it's possible. Now, for me, why work that hard? I'm an older guy. I don't want to push that hard. When we can make the game easy, that's what we should do. Sometimes, less is more. When I was in my younger days, I loved to crank it up. However, I've learned over time that just because you can don't mean you necessarily need to. So... Michael, Mr. Miller, I hope that you got to see the versatility of the Hustle USA. And from now on, I'm going to show you just what you asked for. Because I don't have a problem doing it. I just figured I would just go to where I knew the ball would react and let people read it. But if you want to see what this ball will do under different functions, there you go. Now remember, this is at 4,000 grit. It comes out the box at 3. I also polished it so it would go longer. A lot longer than it would coming out of the box because it doesn't have a shine on it so with a little oil in it maybe it may get a little longer or maybe it might turn over a little faster we'll have to see over time this is the hustle usa this is bad bad bowling 101 with your boy c if you would please hit the like button if you like the show it does great for the show and as the show do better i'll be able to do more stuff for you guys 
If you don't like the show, please, by all means, hit the bottom, hit the thumbs down. And if you do that so I can get better and the show can get better, please allow me to know what it is that I can correct like Mr. Miller did. And everybody give him a thumbs up. Everybody make sure that you give him a heart and a like because what he did was great for the show today. And I hope other people can do the same. If you have balls you want demoed, if you have questions you may have, please don't hesitate to ask, okay? And please hit that subscribe button. It's important for the show. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job. Again, Bad Bad Bowling 101, your boy C. You guys have a great day.